So over here you can see that I have the space right here and the space has a certain font size and font setting applied to it. So this is the default one that you see. But what you can also do is you can change it out. And to do that, you can click on the three dot button over here and then go around under settings. So once you go around under settings over here on the left hand side right here, you can go around onto appearance. And if I were to go around and scroll down, then you can see that fonts is an option over here. If I were to go around here, you can see that the font is set to medium. But if I were to go around and set to very small right here, just like this, then what happens is that the font size changes to very small, as you can see, just like this. If I were to go around over here and change the font size to very large, then what happens is that it becomes large right here, as you can see. It doesn't affect the image size, as you can see right here. The image size stays as it is, just like this. So when I actually go around and zoom in, so if I were to go around, zoom in and zoom out, the image size get, gets affected. But if I were to go around over here and change around, let's say, uh, the font size right here, you can see that the image does not get affected, but only the um, a font gets affected. So by default, it's medium right here, just like this. You can also go around on to customize font and then change around the size. And you can see the sample right here. And you can change around the minimum font size over here, just like this as well. You can go around and choose different type of fonts right here just like this and then as long as the font is not defined in a web page that'll actually be applied over here so you can see that you can go around and change around the font size right here so you can go around and change this out to something else and let me just go around and change it out to something else and something else right here then you can see that the font is actually changed out so you can see that fixed with font sensitive font right here just like this so this is a sensitive font and by the you can see that it just changes out the font right here. So it overrode what was defined on the web base right here, just like this. If I were to go around over here, go for Algerian, then you can see that that particular font will be utilized over here. And that is how you can go around and change out the font size and font settings inside of Microsoft S. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.